Hey my little stars and planets, it's me, Chibi Saturn here, and welcome to Breath of the Wild. Uh, we're gonna jump straight into it. We have four shrines to get through. I'm gonna try to get through them as quick as possible, and I'm gonna backtrack a little because I think I forgot a shrine, and we're gonna just get it real quick, and then we'll move on to the horse stables because they are our next area to go to. Okay, so we use this, and we use this here. Yeah, we can use them on flowing waterfalls. Gotta be careful that we don't fall. There's a chest up there. We'll get it by just kind of stairwaying our way up there. Oop. This, and then... Come on. There we go. Make sure we're careful not to push ourselves off of here. And then... There we go. And 50 rupees. We're gonna need as many as we can. Because we're gonna need to buy a few things here and there. Oh, this is one of those... Okay, I know this one. Oh, hold on. So we got to... Stop it from going that way. Stop it from going down. Damn it. That is not... There we go. And then a last one. Ah, no. Too late. Okay. So it should go down. Hit that one. Then roll on that one. Then... Apparently... Okay, that's too high up. So we gotta get it so that it bounces off of this one on into the hole. There we go. Now let's just make our way downtown. Okay, dokie. And that's it. Fairly simple. Go. I love the visuals on that. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. May the goddess smile upon you. Bye. Okay, that's one down. We've got three more to go. And now that we've beaten that one, you can see, for some reason, the spikes here are gone. Uh... Apparently they were hooked to that. Okay, so... Now... These two... Let's go up to here, because two of these shrines, you gotta do them together, because one has the answer to the other. Because they're twin shrines. But I don't know if the ones on the north side of the dual peaks is... If they're both a twin, or... If the one on the very top and one halfway down is the twin. I think that's the case. It, again, it's been a while since I've done all this, so let's examine. Or go down. Whatever. Bomb barrels. Shoot a fire arrow at a bomb. Yeah, I know. Yeah, twin memories. The Shi Vanir Shrine. So we gotta take this up there because this pattern is the answer to one of the other twin shrines oh crap we well we could try solving this one on memory but i just remembered this is much easier if we get uh another ruin the i don't want to spoil it even though i've kind of spoiled some other things but i think we can kind of remember this so, 
We got three, one, three, one, four, three, one, four, two, five, three, one, four, two, five. Let's try remembering that. Three, one, four, two, five. Three, one, four, two, five. I'm going to say it till it drives you all insane. Three, one, four, two, five. 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 All right. Three, one, four, two, five. Three, one, four, two, five. Three one four two five. Three one four two five. Three one four two five. Yeah. So it's three one four two five. This is also the answer to the other one, the one we were just at, but I can only remember one at a time. So three. I'm sure they'll reset these balls when I finish this temple. And five. This is easier with the ruin we're gonna get down the road for reasons that you will see when we get down the road. Okay, here we are. Hunched over. I, I'm gonna not even bother reading. They all literally say the same thing. I thought they all had their own, you know, things. Oh, I usually skip past this part. Still upon you, the spirit of. Huh. May the goddess smile upon you. Bye. Okay. Now we're gonna come back inside and see if the balls have reset. I'm hope I'm pretty sure they they would. Cause we can come back in these whenever we want, even if we've defeated them. Okay, so two, two, three, five, two, three, five, four, one, 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 two, three, five, two, three, five. Two, three, five. Four, one? I, oh, damn it, I forgot the two letters already. Ah, I gotta go back in. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm trying to burn the numbers in my head. Is it three, one, four, two, five? Okay. Two, three, five. Two, three, five. Four, one. Two, three, five. Four, one. Two, Three five four one two three five four one two three five four one two two three five four one two three five four one It's just faster to teleport up here. Two three five four one two three five four one two three five four one Two, three, five, four, one. Okay, I think I think it's burning my brain now.
two, three, five, four, one. Okay, so now, let's put that memory to the test. Two, three, five. Since this one's closer to this one, we're just gonna put it over here at the one, and this one goes in the four slot. Which is closer to. Right here. Get in the hole. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now we got the twin shrines done. Yeah. I think these I think these are the only shrines where you have to get the answer from one another. Because they're twins. Go. Okay, I'm gonna start skipping these now. May the goddess smile upon you. Bye. I'm not gonna skip these parts. I don't know why, but I love saying, May the goddess bless you. <laughs> May the goddess smile upon you. And saying bye. I like saying bye. There we go. Now, let's get down, get down, because there's one down here. And floop. Oop, and whoop. I think we're making good time. We're at the last shrine, and we're only 12 minutes into the recording. Timing is critical. Oh god, is it this one? No, it's this one. This one kind of sucks. A little. Okay. Now we gotta ride this. Come on. Let's go. Okay. See, so we gotta get that ball to just. Yeah. Here we go. Then. Doodly doodly. I love the fast piano version of that. Doodly doodly doo. Now this one is one I hate because you gotta time it. Oop. Ah, damn it. I hate timing things. Ah. Ah. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, if we're gonna get up there, we're gonna have to go over here real quick. Get our magnesis. Get one of those. Oops. Perfect timing. And now we're just gonna set this here. And bring us to here, and then we can get up here. Here we go. The climber's bandana. We're gonna keep that. That's gonna help us climb. We're gonna need help in the future. My problem is that I never remember to equip the climbing armor when I'm climbing. Okay. There, now I got four. May the goddess a smile upon you. Bah.
All right. Now I'm going to go here. I'm going to turn this back on for a minute. Because as I said, we're going to backtrack just back here. Because I think there's a shrine back here that we missed. I vaguely remember a shrine being back there. I can't say we're going to get to every single shrine in this playthrough. We're just going to get to the ones that I remember. But luckily I remember a lot of them. Like The important ones, anyways. This one's not important, but the more we know, the faster we'll upgrade our bodies. Uh, which direction are we facing? We're facing the right direction. Okay. Oop. Ah, gliding through the nice, fresh air of the morning. Fairly certain that there's a one along this route. Our beeper will start beeping if we're close by to one. Nothing? I could have sworn there was one in these room. Ah, there we go. Oh, we better hit the ground. I, I was not looking at my stamina at all. Mm. Hello, boulders from the void. Always nice to see them again. Another mobling around. This will be. Uh oh. I'm kind of, you know, breathing right here. Oh! Oh no! Yeah, you stay out of here. No, 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 no. You stay away from me. I am not here to fight you. I am here to bring good tidings. Die. And die. And die. And you can go fuck off. And fuck off. And fuck off. There we go. I will take your loot though. What do you have? A rusty broadsword? We don't need that. Uh, what do we got here? Wooden mop. Just a mop to the untrained eye. It excels at tidying up the place, but it owes its sturdy construction to a true craftsman, so it actually has some combat merit. And the farming hoe. A hoe to primarily use for tilling fields. The, its fine craftsmanship is sturdy enough to withstand back-breaking field work, but its battle applications are untested. Yeah, we're going to leave the battle hoe. Right now, we're going to use the wooden mop, because that's how we roll. Here it is. There you are. Okay, now we're going to turn that off, because it gets annoying real fast. Get, get out, out. There we go. There we go. Now that we've gotten that, let us go here. Because now we gotta get ourselves a dope ass ride. Because walking everywhere on foot is a nightmare. Okay. So, this is our first horse stable. Oh, and there's Beetle. Oh god, my stamina. We'll get to upgrade it once we get to the village. Yeah. Hey, dude, how's it going? Hey, I don't believe I met you. Please. My name's Beetle. But you can call me, actually, let's just stick with Beetle. But even if you forgot my face, you can remember me by my beetle-shaped backpack. Despite these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs. I stock many special bugs and must-have items for travelers, and I always change a fair price. Or oh, my name's not Beetle. 
I also buy all sorts of things if you're in need of rupees. Gemstones in particular fetch a high price. How can I help you today? Let's look at what you got. Oh, this is look at what I got. Sorry. I didn't mean to look at my stuff. I want to look at your stuff. Uh, arrows. How many do we have? Do we have 12? Well, let's buy his stock of five arrows. We have enough rupees, yeah. This is near gonna bankrupt us, kind of, but we're good with- we're good on the arrows. So, no, I'm good. Let's get out of here. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay. Hey! Hey! Okay, so... All oh, the little cuckoos. Fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Stupid piece of shit. Get the fuck out of here. Anyways, let us go get a horse. Now, I'm looking for a specific color horse. <gasps> Is that you on the horizon, my beloved? Okay, first, first things first, remove everything. Everything that makes noise, remove it. Remove it. Uh... Remove it, remove it, butt ass naked. There we go. Now we are the quietest of the quiet. We're, our feet are still loud. Don't worry. Well, we can't remove our feet, unfortunately. Uh, but if the other horses see us, they'll spook them. Spook them, spook them. But I want you. You're mine. No! No! You are mine! You cannot escape me! It is our destiny! You are the reincarnation of my beloved. Oh, uh, no. No. Come back. No! You will obey thine master! Ah, horses are fickle. No. Don't notice me. 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 I know I could be sneakier about this, but I'm not. Come on, yes! Yes, baby boy! Oh shit, do we have enough? I hope we have enough rupees to buy the horse. Yeah, come on. It's okay. It's okay. So, every time I play Breath of the Wild, I always get one of these sickly sea green colored horses. Because I have OCD. Uh, yeah, okay, talk. Yeah, nice to meet you. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm not reading your shit because I don't want to talk to you. You're just telling me the shit I already know. Yeah, I want to talk to the other guy. No, the other... This guy. Well, you're a peppy today, stranger. Hi. Welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse-related. We also double as an inn. Huh. I haven't seen your face before. Do I know you... Do I know about... Do you know about the stable system? Yes, I do. Oh, pardon me. Let me start over. Hey. Welcome to our stable. If you've come with a wild horse, we can register it with us here. Or, if you want to stay for a rest, please head on to the counter inside. So what will it be? Register the horse. I think we have enough. I think it's 40 rupee. Hmm? Yes. No problem. We charge a registration fee to help support our conservation efforts. The fee also gets you a locally made saddle and bridle a horse. Fee is 20 rupees. Okay, that's half than what I was expecting. Oh. Thanks. Please enter the name of your horse. Okay. I always name this horse... Capital. Ghost. My trusty steed. Ah. Yes. Whenever I play Breath of the Wild, I always get uh, this Whoa. green horse, and I always name him Ghost. Ah. And then I always get a black horse and name him Despair. I always get a white horse and name that one Hope. And then I always get, when I get the, well, the, the fourth horse... It'll be a surprise. We'll, we'll get to that when we get to that. 
But now, we got a horse. Now we can put on our clothes so we don't look like a crazy person. Oh, Aww. hey, Hino. Yeah, sorry, dude. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to talk to you. We'll talk to you later when we're, uh, you know, farming stars and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Uh, yes. Oh, oh no. Blood Moon? Did he say Blood Moon? Whoa. Okay. Is it gonna be a Blood Moon tonight? He's the Moon expert. We come to him when we need to talk about the Moon. But um, yeah. But it's okay. So with the horses, we want to create a bond with them. So whenever they get all angsty with their teenage angst, we gotta soothe them like that. See, that pink stuff means we're forming a bond. Okay, we're gonna have to stop. No, 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 no! Don't get angsty. Don't get angsty. Stop. Stop. I gotta stop here because there's a coral over here. Now, this Korog is a little bitch. Um, see if we can't get it in the first try. Oh my god. It's fucking... Okay. And... Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Gotta get behind because sometimes it overthrows. Because sometimes when it overthrows, it goes over there. So, let's try to get this in one shot. <clears throat> okay, maybe move this closer. Okay. And... Oh, that was in the wrong direction. That was never going to work. I was so, like, scared of falling off, but I was so close to the edge. I'm gonna get as close as you can without dying and throw. Ah, mother humper. Uh, that's not a throwable rock. This is a throwable rock. We're gonna run out of rocks eventually, though, so. But just look how buff Link is. God damn, boy. What are you eating? Oh, no. Now. Hold on. Try placing it here. I always suck at this one. This one specifically. Because I can never get it right. Huh. Ah. Well, maybe if I move this over here. Uh, I think there's a few more rocks. Yeah, from right here. Get it? These Korog seeds are going to be pretty useful in just a few seconds, so... Come on. Hit. Ah. Come on. Can we... Ah, hold on. I'm trying to get a good angle on this. Is there any other rocks? I hope there's a few more. Because I've been wasting them like fucking candy. Uh, I think this is my last rock. So if I don't get it... Oh, thank the heavens. I did not want to come back here. Yeah, ha, ha, you found me! Yahoo! Okay. Come on, ghost. Let's get the fuck out of here. Go forth, my trusty steed. Oh God! See, this is what happens when you mistreat your horse. Sorry, I'm sorry, my beloved. Let's go. Let's go. It's okay. It's okay. I can see you. Shalaza, Shalaka! It's been a hundred years since anyone has been able to see me. 
I'm Hetsu, and I need your help. No. That monster over there stole my beloved maracas. I think they're still it there on the other side of those racks. I can't use my power without them. Shoko. Please, so please, please, get my maracas back from them. Okay. The priceless maracas. Okay. Ghost, you stay there. I'm going on a mission. I probably should re-equip all of my crap. Uh, we're gonna use the mop, obviously. Well, why wouldn't we use the mop? The mop is the best. Of course, we're not gonna go in there guns a-blazing, no. We're just gonna strike them from the sky. Boom! Oh, crap. He's got a shield. Yeah, get him! Mm. Boom! Oh, uh, ow! Got him. Okay. Now, die. And die! Come on. Uh, I gotta switch to a. Hold on. Faster weapon. Faster weapon. Here, this. There we go. I need a sword. I have no swords. I need to get myself a sword. I hear you, ghost. Oh, did I whistle? I'm sorry, ghost. Oh, wait. Did I pick this up? Drop. Get this. Hetsu's maracas. Oh, shit. Hold on. Hetsu's beloved maracas. He's been shaking them since he was two years old. Oh, so cute. Okay. The third one, I think, fell off the cliff and just died. Oh, hey, horse. Or ghost, sorry. Huh. <gasps> Yeah, baby, shield surfing. I'm so cool and rad. How you doing? Shala, Kala, those are, those are my maracas. Please give them to me. Shala, ka. But wait, there's something wrong with my maracas. The Korog seeds inside the inside are gone. How am I supposed to dance now, Shoko? If I had just one Korok seed, I could sing, dance, and use my powers to help you. You see, I have powers of inventory expansion, so let me know if you find some Korok seeds. Uh, yes? The children of the forest must have taken the Korok seeds from my beloved maracas. I never thought they'd... I'd be the target of one of their pranks, Shoko. Sniff. But wait, sniff, sniff. Do you have a Korok seed? You do! You got a Korok seed from one of the forest children. If if you'll give me just one Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger in return. Yes, please. Shalaka! So which stash would you like? Uh, let's go weapons for now. Oh, yeah. Shaky Shaka! Yeah, shake that booty! Da 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 da! Your weapon stash has been expanded. Shalaka! I smell more Korok seeds on you. Want me to expand your inventory? Yeah. Let's just do one for each so that you can see all of his little dances. They're all the same, but with different colored maracas. Okay. Yep. Oh. Okay, so yeah, he's he's not gonna let me expand my inventory anymore. He's gonna go off 
I think, to a horse stable in Central High Rule, so we're gonna have to meet him up later. I would normally go straight there just to, you know, talk to him, but I mean, we're gonna go for now just so we can collect a few more Korog seeds. I think there's one along the wall. Oh, I'm sorry, ghost. There's one along this wall somewhere. There it is. I thought we had passed it. I was getting paranoid. No, not bomb. No. Oops, there we go. You found me! Bye bye. Okay. Okay, come on, ghost. Let's go. After that, go. Okay. It's okay. Ah, no, ghost! 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 I tried turning ya. You know what? Ghost? Come on. Come on. Come on. I, ghost, just come on. Don't be difficult. Ghost has never been an easy one. He's always been a wild card. Wait, hold on. I think... Isn't there also a Korog? Yes. So... There we go. Yeah. yeah. Got my arrow back. You gotta look for those ones with the arrows in them. Okay. Kakariko Village. It's okay. Yeah. Ghosts won't run in the village, so we're gonna have to go at it slow. But there is a shrine just up on the top of this hill. I'm gonna get that one real quick so we can teleport to Kakariko Village whenever we need to. It's okay, ghost. She's stupid. Ah, it's okay. Don't be emo. Don't be emo. Tahong Nege Shrine. Tahong Nege? I'm sorry. Yeah, I can't pronounce these shrines. Also, up there is something else we're needing, but we don't have the rupees for that yet. I don't believe so, so we're not gonna go up there yet. Come on, ghost. I would... Actually, ghost, you can come down yourself. I'm gonna shield surf. I'm gonna be a cool kid and shield surf. Woo! Ha ha ha! Suck it! Best way to freaking travel. Yo. And then we'll just call Ghost. He can come down himself. He's a smart boy. Um, also, um... Uh... Here we go. Hey! Yeah. Now I'm gonna take all your apples. They're mine now. You there! Who are you? How dare you trespass upon Lady Impa's abode? Hmm? Is that a Sheikah Slate? But that would mean you are... No, it's not possible. Can it be? Oh. Please forgive us for behave behaving so rudely. Of course we have heard the legend of Lady Impa herself. Please, Fred, go ahead and step inside. Yeah, about frickin' time. Actually, wait, before we go in there, there's a Hylia statue over here. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. So tell me, what is it you desire? Stamina. Yes. Yes, thank you. Bless me all over the face with that stamp. Yeah. Yeah. I might get three stamina vessels and then I'll work on getting a few more heart vessels. 
Oh, hey. A man! Huh? Is that... It's a Sheikah Slate. Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was his name? Lee, Lin, um... Oh, it's not that I've forgotten. I'm just bad at... Bad with speaking. Me too. As for me, my name is Pa... 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 Oh, my name is Paya. You I got it out. I know I should be able to say that easily, seeing as how it's my own name and all. I'm so sorry. Anyways, my grandmother... My grandmother's been waiting for your return ever since I was little. Please, hurry and sad. Okay, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm talking up a storm. Let me talk to her. So, you're finally awake. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but you remember me, don't you? Oh. What's the matter? You look... You are looking at me as though I am a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. It is I, courageous one, Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa. Oh. I see, so you have lost your memory. Oh. Well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. Oh. A hundred years... A hundred years ago. Oh. Yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Haru was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, alone she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. I have been waiting a hundred years to deliver the princess's message. Oh. However, these words which the princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I'm afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you are still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you feel like you are ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. Okay, I have to think long and hard about this. Putting my life on the line for all of Hyrule. Man, it's such a big decision. Ah, oh, man, I have to con- Okay, I'm ready. The words that the princess risked her life to impart to you, I cannot pass them on to someone who lacks conviction. You are prepared to risk your life for the greater good. I don't know. Yeah, I am. <laughs> ha! Not a memory to your name, yet you are as intent as ever to charge forward with, the only, with only courage and justice on your side. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Yeah. Very well. Since you have lost your memories, I will recount for you all that has happened. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon. A primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend. <laughs> <laughs> 
that occurred 10,000 years ago. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. Oh. A hundred years ago. In preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior. Oh. But in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that grave mistake again, the princess left you these words. Free the four divine beasts. That is what she said. Understood. <sighs> it seems to me that your Sheikah slate is not yet complete. The device Princess Zelda left to you is your guide and also your memory. Mm -hmm. Now let me see. Someone at the research lab in Hateno Village might be able to help you. Understood. I would say Hitino Village. Oh. She'd explain it, but I mean, it's just a village. You and the Princess Zelda's only hope for Hi and Hyrule as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. Plus, this is going on way longer than I thought. Okay, so. Oh, hello, Paya. Okay, bye, Paya. Uh, okay, so there's three things I want to do here. Okay, Link. Link, spaz out. Get over the railing. There's three things I want to do real quick. I want to get these shrooms, because she has hellish rooms under her house. There we go. I think there's some more over here. Yeah. We're going to need that. We're going to cook up some meals. And there's also... Oh, well, hold on. Is it up there? I think there's a sword up here. Oh, hold on. It's not going to help a lot since we only have the bandana, but it might help out a little. At least I hope it helps out a little. 
Okay, let's go. Let's recover all of our stamina. Okay. I think there's a sword up on the top of this waterfall. And as I said before, I need a sword. Probably should have cooked up some mushrooms before coming up here. Okay. Let's rest up. Okay. Oop. Here. I'm pretty sure there's a sword up here somewhere. This is gonna take a long ass time to climb though. There we go. I hope I'm barking up the right tree. Because if I'm barking up the wrong tree, I'm gonna be pissed. That kind of the nothing. Uh, there's treasure and this, the blue nightshade, a plant that grows in quieter areas of Hyrule. At night, it gives off a soft glow. Cook it with, cook with it to increase your stealth. Okay, there's a chest here. Uh oh, uh oh, no, no, come back, come back, no! Ah, uh, we'll get it later. Is it up there? Please don't tell me it's up there. Or over there. Is it over there? Hold on. Let's see if we can't see it with our... No? Okay. Uh, okay, let's climb up there. If it's not there, we can paraglide down to the other two mountains. Oh, crap. My stamina. Crap. Okay. We might not be able to climb this. Uh, no, 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 no! Don't, 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 no, no, no! No! God damn it! Ah! Okay, it better be up here. Thank God. And yeah, the eightfold blade. Thank you, God. It was fucking nightmare to pick this up. Oh, rookie! You can go to hell. Oh, that missed. Fuck you. Ow, fuck you. Man, get out of here. I was hoping there was a core rock under there because this little toad. But, nah. Oh man, you can see the marshlands from here. And Hyrule Castle. And a lot of the towers and the view as well. God damn, this game is beautiful. But, let's not think about that right now. We got up here, we got the blade. It's 15, it's pretty good. Not sure how long it's going to last us. But, hey, should last us fairly long, hopefully. I... That, nothing up there. Is there something over here on this one, though? Just gonna check real quick. No, nothing here. But, there is a Korog over here. Gonna make sure I fall right in the middle. Yeah, ha ha. Okay. Oh, this. This damn. Oh no, it's the rain! Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. I can't climb out of the water. Because it's fucking raining. And I can't use my Cronesis while I'm in the water. Thank God. He's swimming idly doesn't take up stamina. Oh my god. I didn't know it was gonna rain. Oh no. Well, this is unfortunate. Okay, I cooked up a few stamina things. I only have crap. I have three and they're all crappy. Let's eat this one because it's small. Ah. Well, actually, I can just teleport out. God, I'm an idiot. I keep forgetting. I have the power to teleport. It's just teleporting you know, takes time. I'm an idiot.
It's the little things you forget. Like, hey, I can teleport. I'm in a pickle. Why don't I just teleport? I li I'm the biggest, like, idiot. Okay, let's get this stupid ass bandana off my head. There we go. Now, let us grab these apples. Oop. And hop down here. There's ghosts. I want to head in here real quick. Hey. Hi, Cloudy. Yeah, I'm not going to read her things. She's a shopkeep. I just... I want to sell. <laughs> now, I'm going to sell a few things. Like, even things like this that only give you six rupees, sell them. Because, you know, the more rupees, the better. Um, I want to keep these because you're going to need these for upgrades later. But right now, I we're going to need rupees. Early game, rupees are more valuable. Especially if you get 200. Yeah, baby. And we can always get more. We can always get more. Monster parts, I'm not going to sell those quite yet. Well, I don't think we're going to need them, but we'll see. Huh. Um. Mm, yeah, let's sell monster parts for now. We're gonna probably need them down the line, but oh yeah, we're gonna need them for upgrades. True, but um, right now we're not in the process of upgrading, so let's just get as many rupees as we can. But we can't sell any of the ancient stuff. We're gonna need that for when we get to Hitanu Village. And there we go. There we go. Now we got a thousand. But I think these things are more pricey than a thousand. No, I don't need anything. Thank you, Cloudy. About 60, 120. We already got the pants. We don't need the pants. Okay, so this is the most expensive. We're gonna get this. And this is much cheaper than I thought, so we'll get this as well. Hylian Hood. We're, we'll read the descriptions in a second. Let me just... I want to sell, because we can sell other things like armor. Let's sell our well-worn trousers. And... Our old shirt. Ah. We're keeping the Nintendo shirt. The Nintendo shirt's ours. No, bye, Clary. Okay, so let us just get here. Okay, so Hylian hood. A hood woven using traditional Hyrulean methods. It's made from a sturdy material to protect travelers from the harsh sun and weathers. Hylian tunic. A common guard that achieved widespread popularity in Hyrule, particularly among travelers. It's light yet sturdy fabric doesn't limit movement. Okay, we're gonna put this on because it's good armor. And we got the warm doublet, a warm pullover typically worn by mountain folk. It's sturdy fabric and thick gloves are great for retaining body heat. I'm not sure if I read that earlier. And it may look like a regular bandana, but it's actually infused with ancient technology that enhances core strength to improve your climbing abilities. And we already looked at the Nintendo shirt. So, um, yeah. Uh, how much are these again? Oh, isn't that lovely? It's a limited edition. Yeah, I know. Okay, how much is it? 700, 600, 500. Well, this one is the most pricey, so we'll get this for now. This is going to help us be more sneaky. Stealth chest guard. Armor designed for stealth, passed down through the Sheikah tribe. The special fabric suppressed the rustle of clothing, even when moving quickly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, now let's get out of here. So, uh, there's one more Korog over here that we can get, and then we might end the video here. Once we get it. Uh -huh. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. 
Ah, damn. Got away. Okay, if you get beetles, we can sell them to Beetle, and he'll give us money. I think he pays a lot for beetles, if memory serves correctly. I might be thinking wrong. Yeah, ha, ha you found me. Yeah. Okay. So, I think that's it for episode one. We got to Kakarika Village, we spoke to Impa, we got some new... You know, clothing. We got a sick-ass ride. Everything's looking up, you know, looking up Link. So, um, we'll end it there. And in the next video, we'll go to Hatenu Village. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the dark side of the moon. Bye!